Welcome back guys to another one. Today let's talk about audio and microphones. Usually when I do my intros I like to use either the lav mic, which is connected to my camera, but sometimes the cable is not long enough. And then usually I either have to use the integrated one from the camera or use my main one, the Yeti microphone. But because I don't want to put that big of a thing in my face when I'm looking at the camera, I decided to look out and Tonor gladly reached out and they sent me this, their new mic and a new accessory. So, let's see how well it performs. I'm a big fan of plug and play items, especially when it comes to YouTube, where most content creators are like a one-man show like myself. So this is the new Tonor TC777, which is a USB condenser mic. It's $40 and it promises the best value out there. No wonder it's number one on Amazon's list. It comes with all of the main accessories that you would need to get you started, like a built-in mini tripod, a shock mount, a pop filter and a mic foam cover. It's quite small, I mean here it is when compared to my dumbbell, which is the Blue Yeti. As you know so far this has been my daily driver for years. And then here it is next to a half a liter juice can. The metal tripod is sturdy and even has these rubber covers at each end to further minimize any vibration and not to move on most surfaces. Also the pivot offers up to 180 degree adjustment. The USB cable measures 1.5 meters in length. And then another nice feature I've discovered is that the fact that a shock mount can be unscrewed and attached to a boom arm with a 5.8 inch thread. Underneath the mic cover we have the condenser cardioid microphone. This means that the pattern needs to be in front of your face and make sure you keep it between 15 to 30 centimeters for an optimum sound capture. Lastly, the pop filter measures like 4 inches in diameter and can be easily adjusted to almost any angle. Now here is a quick sound sample when compared to my Blue Yeti with minimal noise gains in the software since I have updated my Premiere Pro and everything is quite low on the recording department. Here is a sound sample on the Tonor TC777 without any adjustments in my recording software. Here is a sound sample on my Blue Yeti microphone, my daily driver, to compare it with the Tonor TC777. At first glance, I think you can tell by now that there is not a big difference in quality in both microphones in the RAW format. And mind you, the Blue Yeti is almost 4 times the price. I mean, so far this voiceover for this review has been done with the Tonor and so far myself I can't tell any major differences in sound quality. Yes, the Blue Yeti has more tweaking options and fine adjustments which are built in, but this can be done anyway via software. But at its core when it comes to sound quality and the recording capability, this Tonor TC777 I can clearly say it truly delivers. Now let's play with the Tonor T20 Studio Boomer. This is a heavy duty universal scissor type accessory and it promises that it can hold up to, get this, 3 Blue Yeti microphones. Well, that's quite a statement. This one is also $40 and let's see if it's worth it. It comes shipped in a standard box with minimal branding and I love the fact that inside everything has its own chamber so no internal movement occurs, thus to protect from scratches and damages between the parts. Ok, here is the complete list of items that you will get. So we have the boom arm, one large desk clamp, the mic clip, a 3.8 inch to 5.8 inch adapter, a pop filter, a foam cover, a cable tie, a manual and a warranty card. Let's install it. The clamp has a padded extra large contact surface which is perfect. Just make sure that you don't use it on a round table since it will not bite enough surface to be secured. Then just insert the deployed boom arm into the clamp socket. This is a very tight fit and it offers a full 360 degree motion. Now attach your desired microphone and this is the official compatible list. Either use the included metal adapter and this is where I would attach my Blue Yeti or the Tonor TC777 with its own shock mount. You can also even use the stock supplied mic mount which offers a small amount of leverage since it expands when you insert a microphone in it. Of course this is not the best one out there but at least it's something to get you started. And here it is with the Tonor installed with a stock uh, shock mount. Well, it fits, thus it sits. The final step is to secure the microphone cable with the included straps for a cleaner look. Ok, so how is it? Well, I would avoid round table since the clamp will not grasp the whole required surface to be stable. 
Then the stock shock mount isn't fully adjustable besides that little leverage it offers you when it expands if you insert a thicker microphone. This of course can be overcome if your mic has the appropriate mounting thread. Then the included pop filter needs some extra convincing to stay into desired place. Besides these small nitpicks, this thing is quite good, I mean the arm is highly overbuilt and sturdy as they said, and yeah, you can attach a brick to it and it'll still hold it. It has a great range of motion, on a small desk of course, and it doesn't squeak, rattle or make any annoying noises for the springs, which we know it's the enemy in our recording sessions. I love that padded grip for the clamp and the full metal adapter that gives you the ability to install basically a wide variety of microphones. There's even a quick easter egg, basically the clamp, you can even attach your headphones onto the end of it under the desk, out of sight, so that's a nice one. Well guys that's it, not much more else to say, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what audio setup do you have and see you in the next one. Alex out.